This video provides a visual instructions on how to create the butterfly coin purse. Uh, the pattern is available in my Etsy store. The link to the pattern is listed in the description box below. Uh, this pattern doesn't require my, uh, much fabric, uh, but you need to use cork or vinyl fabric, so some, uh, some fabric that doesn't fray as we have exposed edges. To make the pattern even more accessible, I included not only the PDF printable pattern, but also SVG file. So you can upload the SVG file to any uh, software that uh, you may use with any uh, cutting machine you may own. Uh, if you like the project and if you like my tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group. Uh, that's a good place to get notification of any upcoming new uh, pattern releases. Also, uh, that group received extra free perks and uh, discount codes for my patterns. So if that's something you would like, please visit uh, my Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. Today, we're gonna work on the butterfly coin purse. Let's get started. To start our construction of the butterfly coin purse, uh, we're gonna start with cutting out all our uh, pattern pieces. All pattern pieces will be provided in the PDF uh, pattern. All the supplies uh, needed are cork fabric, some vinyl. We wanna make sure we are using a fabric that doesn't fray, so those two choices are uh, the best. Uh, we also need uh, four inches of a zipper tape or a zipper that is at least four inches so can be trimmed. Uh, we need a, a coordinating color thread and a double-sided tape uh, will be useful helping us attach the accent pieces to the butterfly wings. First step is to construct our accent pieces. So we're gonna have two pairs of circles and uh, two pairs of uh, teardrops um, for the wings. Uh, using double-sided tape, just cut a piece of double-sided tape, place it on the back of the teardrop, and also on the back of the smaller circles. This will help us uh, making sure that, that our accent pieces won't shift while we are sewing them onto the larger accent pieces. Take the backing of the tape off and center the teardrop one fourth of an inch uh, away from the point of the tear. So you're gonna, you're gonna have space uh, then to sew the larger accent piece on the uh, butterfly itself. So continue this with all other pieces. With the circles, um, do the same, just choose any edge and put it on one fourth of an inch away from the, uh, from one of the edges. Now that we have our accent pieces prepped, uh, we're gonna take them to the machine and making sure that we have the correct colored thread, um, threaded in our sewing machine, we're gonna uh, sew all those accent pieces onto the golden accent pieces with the 18 to 116 seam allowance, uh, whatever it's comfortable. Make sure you are taking your time, um, so go slow, uh, and this way you're gonna get a better effect. So I uh, sew in all my accent pieces on. I just wanna show you one technique of pulling the thread behind. You don't wanna have a back stitch on the top. So what you can do when you finish your seam, don't back stitch it. Just pull the, all the threads to the back side. 
of their work. Now you have a nice clean look on the front. You can then trim the threads and just secure them by melting the ends on the back end. So now you have a nice clean look to all your pieces. Now our next step will be attaching the accent pieces to the body of our purse. Once again, we're gonna use double-sided tape. We're gonna prep all our accent pieces. and attach them to our main body of the butterfly. You wanna leave around 3 eighths of an inch on each side of the wing because we will have to have a space for our final seam. Continue with all other pieces. When you have all your accent pieces uh, placed on your uh, body of the coin purse, uh, go to the machine and make sure you change your uh, upper thread to match uh, your second accent piece color uh, and sew all those pieces on with the 1-8 uh, seam allowance. If you like to add additional embellishment to your butterfly, you can do that with uh, using some rivets. Um, just choose the placement uh, of the rivet and install uh, them before we move on to another step. After your butterfly purse panel is completed, um, we're gonna move on to installing the zipper. I have a, a zipper tape uh, with the pool inserted on it. I'm gonna use uh, double-sided tape to help me hold the tape in the zipper opening. So just place a piece of double-sided tape on each edge of the zipper tape. And I want to make sure that my pouch closes when I pull the zipper to towards the head of the butterfly. So that's how I want to have my zipper positioned. I'm gonna remove the backing of the tape. Place the tape on the table and center the tape inside my zipper opening. Make sure that there is an equal overhang of the zipper on each side so we have a space on on both ends to attach the zipper. So now that your zipper is secured with the double-sided tape inside the zipper opening, take it to the machine and top stitch with the 1-8 uh, seam allowance and 3.5 uh, stitch length all around the zipper. Also make sure that if you're trimming your zipper, you're gonna melt the ends with the lighter because this zipper will stay exposed inside of our purse. So if you have your butterfly prepped, uh, take it to the machine and install the zipper. Since my, the body of my butterfly is yet again another color, I'm gonna change the thread to match my exterior of the butterfly uh, before I start sewing in the zipper. Now that the zipper is attached, we're gonna move on to our last step, which is putting the pouch together. I'm gonna use clips to align my 
edges. So make sure you are aligning your, your edges nicely all around and clip it with Wonder Clips. If your edges do not align exactly perfectly, don't worry, because we're gonna be sewing on the right side of the project with the one fourth uh, of an inch seam allowance. That will give us some space to trim any uh, shifted uh, piece of fabric. So if you, if during the sewing your fabric shifts a little bit and and uh, and the back of the cork uh, edge will be exposed, uh, we're gonna be able to remedy that by just trimming the cork. So continue clipping. Now that uh, your project is prepped, uh, take it to the machine and sew all around the edge with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance. I sew my pouch all around, but I do have some shifted edges, but that's an easy fix. Just uh, place uh, the project uh, the, the side up where you can see the exposed edges and just follow the uh, edge, the clean edge of the project. And you can trim. Any exposed edges easily. So just review your project all around, make sure that all edges look nice and neat. Also, if you like, you can um, melt any loose threads of the cork backing or of your uh, sewing thread with the lighter. So just gently move the flame all around the outer edge. So make sure that there's no loose threads anywhere and your pouch is ready. You can add a wristlet strap if you like. Uh, I'm gonna show you in the next step how uh, easily uh, put together a cork a strap. To create the strap, uh, for our butterfly coin purse you're gonna need a long strip of uh, vinyl this one is uh, 22 inches by half an inch you're gonna place uh, some double-sided tape around halfway through leaving a th uh, three quarters of an inch exposed now what we're gonna do we're gonna release the double-sided tape backing you want to fold that end in and then align the other end with it. Making sure your strip is centered on both sides. When you have that prep, take it to the machine and top stitch on both ends. Or actually you can st st top stitch it uh, all around. Uh, with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch line. Now, having the strip, the cut edge uh, side up, you're gonna thread your swivel clasp onto the strap, making sure that the cut edge is inside the loop and when you fold, uh, your strap it's gonna be hidden inside so fold your strap insert the other end inside the fold and you can now uh, sew it on your machine or secure it with a rivet I'm gonna uh, secure it with a rivet I'm gonna make sure that all my three uh, 
layers are cut when I punch my hole. Now my strap is secure. You can clip it on the zipper pull or you can install a 3 eighths of an inch grommet in the head of the butterfly and thread your uh, wristlet strap through the grommet hole. To install the 3 eighths size grommet you're gonna cut a hole that is size around one quarter of an inch um, you're gonna prep your uh, die machine so you're gonna insert your grommet dies you're gonna thread your right side of the grommet, the bigger part of the grommet, through the hole. And on the end, you're gonna put the washer. And having it uh, this way, you're gonna insert it on your grommet die. Make sure everything stays in place. So now your grommet is installed and you, you have another uh, choice of attaching the wristlet strap through the grommet. The project is now completed. We have created the butterfly coin purse. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.